Guess what? Where are we? Look up! It be a day, yeah! <laughs> Finally, an in-person event after how many years, Mike? Two, uh, three years since the last one, Three actually. years since the last one, which was in Stockholm, but we are now in lovely Vienna. And this is the end of day one. What a day! What a day! What a day! What a day! Like, so many insights. And so nice to like see people from the industry that we haven't seen for three years, right? Um, although I must say, I've hugged so many people that I won't be surprised <laughs> if like coming out of Vienna, I have COVID. <laughs> no, don't say that, Julie. Don't say that. But isn't the lovely buzz inside? Like the excitement, ah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. feel like in the air. The uh, energy. The, the energy is energies there. It's absolutely there. Smiles on people's faces and the interactions are, are real, right? Yeah, I was thinking so the same. It, it's, it's fantastic to see people going to get excited as well, much more than we've ever seen on a Zoom. It is palpable. The I, th I think like, you know, like we always talk about like collaboration within the industry and so on. But like, I think after three years being all apart, actually like, we feel that collaboration is needed and everyone wants to talk about payments, wants to do things about payment together. And that's a core message, actually. We've heard it across lots of things. I mean, we were talking, you know, earlier on, we had a great interview uh, talking about IXB, you know, 24 banks, collaboration. It's actually all about collaboration and people really wanting to do stuff together, right? They're, yeah. they're, and it's, it's, it's all over the place. And, and I like collaboration beyond just the banks, like into the kind of open banking, fintech ecosystem as well. Definitely, that's on the on the agenda for discussion. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, like you know, it's been interesting to hear at EBAD. Let me repeat at EBAD, which is supposed to like depict what is happening in payment. People talking about the metaverse. Yes. Um, and now, like, you need to go and serve your customer in. I'm not even sure how to qualify it. This dimension. Yes. Maybe. Um, so yeah, like very interesting insight and so on, and also like understanding how everyone is managing upcoming regulation. That's um, right. Uh, because I mean, regulation is a reality everyone has to deal with, and there's still a lot of it, right? But I think that message again: you have to do the regulation, but you need to think about how you leverage that regulation to do the things that will lead to the future of payments. Yeah, yeah. critical message from so yeah. many people today. Yeah, and I think like for me, another critical message has been like you need to modernize your payment infrastructure. There is no better moment that now is, again, everything coming in the regulatory front, ISO 222, um, and also like the interoperability of the scheme and what it means, right? So I think for me, this is one of the key messages as well, along with responsibility. The responsibility. Uh I'm not responsible for anything. No. Uh, <laughs> actually, can I tell you what I thought was like my favorite message of the day? We're talking about the metaverse, talking about NFTs, talking about you know decentralized finance and so on. I don't care what you think, but you need to understand it. Yeah, it's a absolutely. fantastic idea. I don't care what yeah, you think, yeah, yeah. whether you think it's bunkum, whether you think it's not real, whether you think it's irrelevant in a different dimension. Actually, you need to understand it. Yeah. And it's, I love the, the, the kind of concept that actually, you know, the transition, we heard it in a, different, in a number of ways. Actually, that next generation, the Gen Z, whatever, already are leading the transition to that. So, you know, we might be a bunch of old people in suits here. Um, speak for yourself. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> but the, the point is actually that next generation is already happening. The people that will lead tomorrow and they're creating things, yeah. and, you know, especially that the people creating the real challenges for tomorrow are in that 18 to 25 year space today. And they don't know things that can't be done, so they're trying them anyway and doing it. And some of them are going to come I through. love this point. What as a cool well. concept, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because they don't know it can't be done, yeah. actually, so they're doing it. Yeah, it was interesting to hear that actually the disruption in the banking space is coming from non banks, it's coming from outside. And we, like, as a banker, we need to adjust to this, right? Brilliant so, idea. yeah, brilliant idea. Well, what a day! I'm looking forward to tomorrow and a lot more, to more come. insight, more discussion, more podcast as well. More podcasts. How many? did we do today uh, six. Six. six 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 podcasts great six. guests as well yeah and more to go tomorrow and, absolutely uh, i can't wait i can't wait same here